Hey, Bikes. I'm Kiernan. Aaron. Cadence. Carly. Savannah. And Landon. And you're watching SVTV. <laughs> Let's go on another stroll with Stukey. If you were to appoint a global uh, internet president, who would it be and why? A global internet president? Yes. Um, anybody other than Jake or Logan Paul? Because well, they've ruined everything. Question for you. Yeah, what is it? If you were to name a brand new holiday, like for the entire world, what would it be? What would you name it? And when would it be? So, I would probably have a like a National Donut Day, and I'd name it Donut Day. When would it be though? When would it be? I feel like donuts are more of a spring thing. Isn't, there's already a National Donut Day though. Okay, come here. Okay. So, why do they name Donkey Kong Donkey Kong if he's actually a monkey? I don't know. Or a gorilla, same thing. You don't, come on, you gotta know. You gotta know something. I don't even know. Why is it necessary to, to nail down a coffin lid? Do they think something's gonna break out? For safety? <laughs> so you think something's gonna break out of it? Well, what if something breaks in it? Yeah, cause we're gonna rob each other's dead bodies. Let's do that for fun. Why, are pizza, why is a pizza box square when the pizza is actually round? It's an Illuminati. That's a triangle. Illuminati. Why are, uh, <laughs> why are uh, pizza boxes square when the pizza is actually round? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Those were some interesting answers. Now for your daily announcements. Olivia Oliva has been selected to receive a 2021 Young Artist Award with a scholarship through the Topeka Performing Arts Center for instrumental music to be presented to her on May 19th. Congratulations. If you are interested in joining the Viking Brew Coffee Shop for the 2021-2022 school year, see Miss Dowling in W9. Today is the last week to sign up for driver's education this summer. See Mr. Tinsley if you have any questions. The fishing club is reimbursing students that have purchased a fishing license this year. Bring your fishing license to Mr. Wilson in room W in eight and he will at the Seaman Bank check for the cost of a single year license. Volunteers are needed to help distribute harvesters this Monday, May 10th from 3.40 to 5. Check Schoology for more information. The class of 2021 may purchase their MacBook Air at the price of $350. This price includes the laptop, charger, and case. Now, on to your sports after this quick commercial break. Where did you?
you learn how to drive? Um, funny thing, I don't know how to drive. Well, Seaman High School has a driver's ed program and sign-ups in May 6th. So make sure you go and sign up. I probably should. Today, Peyton Murray will sign a letter of intent to play football at Mid-America Nazarene University in Olathe. Congratulations, Peyton. Emma Meinholt will sign a letter of intent to play soccer at McPherson College Friday. Congratulations, Emma. Let's go see how the track team is doing. I run the 110 hurdles and 300 hurdles. I run the 100, 200, 4x1, four 4x4, one, four four, and I do high jump. Uh, my season has gone pretty well so far. I've scored points at every event, I believe. Um, so that's just been getting top eight. So that's been, it's been pretty good. My meet's been going pretty well. I've been able to place top eight at every single meet. Not in uh, the first two meets I got, first in both my events, second, one tenth in my second meet. Um, other than that, I've, play, I've meddled at every single meet so far this year. Last week we had a ba barrier breakers meet where we just had to get under a certain time, so I met those times and I got medals for those, I guess, but it's been going pretty well so far. Well, it's going, thankfully, and so that's been the nicest thing. I try not to take it for granted anymore after last year, you know, and um, so it's been going, it's been going okay. Um, uh, the guys team has been pretty fortunate at staying away from the injury bug and and uh, we we were pretty competitive early, but we're getting to a lot more competitive meets, and so it's going to get a lot tougher, which is good. Um, and so we're improving. Uh, I think on a weekly basis, our kids are getting better, and and I've always appreciated again how uh, kids, especially here, come and they work hard and and be coachable, and it's always been fun to be around them. Well, yeah, I, I kind of thought like we we have some good seniors in in. Bear Wooster has been really good for us. Cade Rothenberger has been really good for us. Sean Hoffman's has been really good for us as far as like the, the sprint side of it. Um, I think Manny Hernandez has done a pretty good job in the throws. And on the distance side, I think they've got a pretty good group of guys, but uh, you know, I don't know quite how the dynamic is. It kind of seems like it fluctuates from week to week with the distance guys, but the distance guys have been working good. And we've had some younger guys kind of step up and run well. Like I've been really happy with the two Moore brothers and then even Sawyer stallbomber has been good and, and, and Jack Horachik's a senior obviously and, and we rely on him quite a bit. So I'm sure I'm forgetting some guys, but yeah, pretty good so far. Uh, I made a lot of improvements. I see uh, definitely there's been a big physical change about how fast I'm able to go just off of without really doing any extra work. Uh, I've seen a lot of improvements in how fast I am. My times have all dropped off and I've even started to jump higher, so I've seen a big improvement over the two years. Uh, I've been working really hard. I've been putting in like a lot of extra time, a lot of time focused on my events, um, particularly not really just in staying in shape at this point in the season. I've just been more focused on my technique and just getting faster and building up more stamina as the se season progresses. You have to make sure that you're uh, doing what's best for the team and like you're not doing anything stupid and you're not messing around as much because a big part is making sure you're setting a good example for the younger guys. And uh, you can see, I can see that personally from like some of the young guys, they need a little bit more guidance. And since they missed, we have a lot of sophomores who haven't run a track season. So it's been important to make sure to help them, show them how to do it because they're gonna end up leading the team through next year and the year after. Um, I'm really hard on the freshmen, I'm not gonna lie. Because they need that, to, they need someone to be hard on them to like push them to get better, so they don't think track is just a screw around sport. You go to practice, sunbathe all day, and then go home. Like you actually have to put in work to like get where you want to be. I've seen, I've seen a lot of underclassmen actually surprise a few people, like a few people on our team this year, really. So I think it's really just helped like upperclassmen, seniors pushing them, being hard on them to like push them to get better and like help them reach their goals for just now, and like that'll help yeah. them for years to come since they're only underclassmen so they have like two, three years left of running after this year so they'll 
help them progress and like know how to be leaders themselves someday. Jacob Anderson, freshman, has been a good su surprise. Adrian Swaim in the sprints have been a pretty good surprise. Um, again, you know, um, the last people to compete for us, the seniors this year, are sophomores. So it was, it's been kind of hard to, at the start of the season to figure out maybe what kind of a team you're going to have because you, you didn't see them when they were so young. And then you missed all the freshmen that are sophomores this year. And then, of course, all the freshmen are coming in and didn't have eighth grade track. So it was really kind of hard to figure out you know, what it was going to be. But those two kids have been pretty good. Then a bunch of other young guys, Camden McClyman, so I was kind of hoping we'd get a few more jumps out of him. Um, but the young guys, again, Lane and Stuckey, have been really good in the distance. Um, and then I think Sean Miller and Jackson Thomas will be pretty good in the throws eventually. But we've had some good young throws. Keegan Shelley's been throwing pretty well. And I'm sure I'm going to probably forget some other names. But I think those guys are coming along. I just think they really kind of took a beating with not having, especially in the technical events, like the throws and the pole vault and stuff. I think our kids took a beating a little bit by not having a chance to learn that stuff last year. My goal is to try and make it to state. Um, it's a big goal, but you know, set, aim for the stars and if you miss, you hit the sky or something like that. My goals is to at least get fourth in the 300s and regionals because I already know 110s, I'd really have to scratch a whole second off my time to go to state in the 110s, but 300s is a more realistic uh, event for me to go to. But uh, yeah, the goal is state. You never know if it'll happen or not, though. You never know who's going to run bad and who's going to run good. Oh, just to continue to be competitive. Um, you know, I always try to base my goals on individuals. So it's kind of nice if you take, let's say, an average of maybe 25 kids to a track meet, uh, and let's say they all do two events, you got 50 opportunities to have a good day, you know? And if you can have a good day more than you have bad days on those events, then I think you count that as a success. So, I um, mean, we just kind of want to be competitive. I don't, we're not, you know, we're not going to be good enough to like win the league, and our regional is uh, really tough. So. We, um, if we do go to state, you know that we've got some quality kids that are going to be able to compete at the state level, but that's just kind of what I want to get to. I mean, I just want to be competitive and, and uh, I want to do well at league. I'd like to have uh, some kids that have been running really well or jumping really well, and I'd like to have them have a chance to medal. Maybe that's always nice. For sure, score some points at the league meet, which will be really tough. Maybe score some points at the regional meet, and then hopefully we get a couple of kids to go to state this year because it'll be a unique experience. Keep up the good work. The Lady Vikes JV track team completed at Centennial League JV meet yesterday. Congratulations. There will be a meeting for all 2020 football players and thus considering playing in 2021 in the West Commons today at 1.30 p.m. following the athletic signing. Now over to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are expecting some storms to start moving through the area again this next week. We are starting to notice our weather patterns have been changing. As you can see on this diagram, our, we have been getting warmer and warmer almost every single year. And we also have been getting more and more precipitation as we go on. Today we are going to be very really cool with our temperatures being in the 60s and 70s area. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we are going to be very nice these next couple of days before Sunday. Saturday night into Sunday morning, we are expecting some thunderstorms to reach the area. Now these could be some severe thunderstorms, possibly even tornadoes in south southern Kansas, but we shouldn't see too many in our area. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.